What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So today we're going to be doing a beagle, a dog beagle. So this is a request from Dylan on Patreon. I gotta get this out before Christmas. So this will be coming up on a day where I don't usually do animals, but uh, he needs it for a Christmas present for someone. So um, requested on Patreon. Let's go, landscape page, use a pencil eraser, eraser or rubber as we call it in Ireland. Um, and have fun and enjoy. Take your time. Hit pause if we go too fast. Start with the eyes. Beagles, the top of his head is quite small, right? So his eyes are quite close to the top of his forehead in this image. Now I know this depends on how the head is tilted. So we're just gonna put the eyes right up here, right? So the center of my page is about here. We're gonna go up a good bit. We just have a bit of a bit of room for the top of his head. Yeah, so let's go. Right. So we curve a line up and around and down, right? Like that. Some real big eyes. And the front has a little spike. It always reminds me of like a bird's beak. You know, like those kind of childhood ways you would draw a bird. A little spike here and then it comes around. We'll bring it up into the corner just here, like so. So then his iris, so it's quite big. It goes right to the edge, right, of his eye. It comes around here. And like dog's eyes are quite dark in here, so you could get away with like just coloring this black, but we'll leave it white. Well, we might add a little bit of darkness here, maybe. Just a little bit. Right, just because they're supposed to be quite dark in there. So pupil, we'll go for the middle, right? We'll add it like here, and we'll do it a bit big just to make them look a bit more puppy-like. Be colored in dark, right? Like so. You can draw in highlights, right, if you want, um, and some hatching and stuff like that. Um, and maybe I will. So I'm gonna add a highlight here, right? Just like in this corner. And then to put a shadow on the top of his eye, because his eyelid will cast a shadow, right? You just put some hatching here. This is optional now, you could do this with color, right? So you just do these crisscross sort of lines. It's quite dark at the top, and as we go down the eye, it starts to kind of get a bit lighter, kind of like that, okay? This is like an easy way of doing, making an eye look like it has some depth, okay? So there's other eye over here, and you can fit two eyes across, right? So you go once, twice, and then maybe even more than two. But generally, it's two in animals, like this, once, twice yeah and you start roughly about there so you want to go at least at least two eye widths right and it'll bring you over and then we start his other eye and again big curving eye up and around and down and we add our beak at the front the bird's beak as i call it just there and then this will go down around. Up to there. And then iris just around here. Big round iris. And you can like shade this in a little bit maybe. Boop, boop, boop. Like so. Right, and then pupil. So kind of we'll just do it in the same sort of spot. Get it in the middle. Shade it in. And then 
we will do highlight again so it's good to put it like on the same side right so the lights coming from this direction so so you'll have highlight up here and then a bit of hatching a bit of shadow underneath just kind of like that right okay so there's a few details around the eyes right so we've got like dogs tend to have this sort of eyebrow kind of thing right so it's like like this furry sort of round sort of section just here and then it comes around the eye here it might be like a line going into the eye there like that and like another eyelid line coming around here another eyelid line coming around light sort of sketchy lines now just adding a little bit of detail and then another bumping line for the corner of the eye here okay you can add like texture on these as much as you'd like really we'll do the same thing over here so like a little eyelid line down here eyelid line coming over the top really close to the eye there like that and then we'll do this bumping sort of hairy sort of section they have on their eyes like so there and then the eyebrow sort of eyelid kind of thing like here like so all right so the eye the width of the eye brings you to the middle of his nose right so we've got this kind of equilateral triangle here like between his eyes say see the width of my it's like a maybe a width of a pen see that so like there to there when you go from the pupil down it'll bring you to the middle of his nose roughly like here so we're roughly even on these things nearly that's like the center of his nose right so he's got this line then that comes down from there like that and then it's like an arrow pointing down right so we go up the side like so and then this kind of bumps out the side of his nose out to here and then nostril right so it curves around he's got this like piece of skin dogs do anyway and wolves and things it's like a skin flap there and then the nostril the hole for the nostril is inside here well it can be pure black or shaded you know you can put some hatching if you want and then maybe like some little dots and skin lines and things around it <clears throat> and then the top of his nose comes up around the side across the top there I'm gonna cough excuse me <coughs> okay sorry about that and then maybe like another line on top here and something else like on the side maybe here all 
Right, so big nose on the beagle. Hunting dog, I think beagles are, traditionally, anyway. So then coming down, we'll do his mouth. So coming down from his nose here. And then he, he's one of these dogs with the big um, floppy sort of, like, what would you say? Floppy skins for his lips, like big lips, right? So we go diagonal down this way. And this can be a hairy line as well. It can be sort of like sketchy and stuff, like coming around here. And this will go back up around this way, just underneath the corner of his eye here. And it'll join like his jaw that will go underneath his ear that way. Okay. And you'll do the same thing over here pretty much, right? Go around. Like so. So, from what I can see, there is a little bit of a lip in here, right? A little bit of a bottom lip just in there. And you can add a shadow like so. And then the chin seems to come down here. And then like another jowl sort of hanging down. I call them jowls. So it's like this skin sort of, but it's fur as well. Coming around here. Like so. Right, and then, so there's like a snout line that comes down around here, right? So it's like, sort of like the side of his snout. Like so, coming down this way. And then there's a white section on the front of the snout. And something similar on this side. So you've got like the snout line coming down here. And it runs sort of up into the middle of his head. And the pat, so this is like this white pattern that beagles have on their nose, right? And it's a hairy sort of sketchy line because it's done with hair, right? So, and it runs up right to the center, nearly up to the whole front of his, sort of like his forehead all the way. And that's kind of white inside. And you could have like some lines just running up the center here on the side of his nose and then we have sort of whisker lines like here like these sorts of dots you know that animals cats and dogs have just on their face these kinds of things <laughs> Right, and then we'll have like sort of a line for his, his eye socket, like underneath, like this, that sort of joins the snout here on the side. Right, and this is kind of hairy as well. Like this kind of triangle, and I'm, I'm using like these light sketchy lines because it's fur. Because right? if you did a solid line, it wouldn't really look correct. Right, like that. So that's like the main structure for his face. Okay, and he does have whiskers, but we'll we'll draw those last. Sometimes I forget them, but um, we'll draw them last. So he's, he's got these big ears, right, that come down the side of his head. So big floppy ears, like coming down here, right? Yeah, all the way around, right? Same on this side, pretty much. Right close to his eye, all the way. 
doesn't have to be like exactly the same on both sides, but we'll, we'll go for it similar-ish. Right, like that. And these will come back up to the top of his head. So we'll go around. And if you want, if you want, you can add a little bit of fur as we go up to the top, like another spiky line, sort of like this. And there's like these little folds in it, like a fold line that comes down here like for the edge of his line, edge of his ear, sorry, like that. And like some sort of lines like that, just to show it's got these kind of skin folds and things inside and we'll do the same thing over here oh, we did, we'll go around first actually I forgot that getting carried away Okay, so the top of his head then just comes across here, right? So it's got a little dip in the middle, so it like dips down here, say. He's a real flat top of his head, and then it comes across and joins the ears. Just across here. There's just some like forehead lines and things here. Um, right, and then let's see. Let's see how we're doing. Okay, so then his neck kind of comes down here in his body, right? So we've got like neckline, say here, coming down from the outside of the ears or the inside of the ears here, right, like that. And then we can see some of his jaw just inside here, like the, the where the neck meets the sort of face, right? It's kind of like another line just in there. And then his back is asymmetrical. So that means like we're different kind of on both sides for his shoulders, because I think it's turned or something in the image. So we'll just like go down this way. And he's got relatively smooth fur. So we're just gonna add like little spikes and mostly a straight line just going down that way. And then same on this side, right? A little bit of bump for the shoulder. You know, he's got, they're usually like little muscly little dogs, right? Um, and then, yeah, and like a neckline coming in here. Neckline going in there. And there's like these black and white patterns, right? So you've got like black on the shoulder on, on this particular beagle. So it can, be, it can be many different ways, but it's white then that comes along here and white coming down here. So I'll just draw it in, right? If you want to copy this pattern, you can, but it's not like 100% necessary. And then this sort of white pattern comes down this way, like so. But then we have like more fur lines in the middle.
like so. Right, so what's left? Whiskers, don't forget whiskers. Okay, so like you can add just some small, like not like he's not like a cat or anything. So they're, they're relatively small whiskers, right? Um, some of them are like straight and like this kind of stuff, so. Right, kind of like that, and maybe some just like coming off his eyebrow there. Um, and sometimes the thickening up of the edge lines makes certain parts of your drawing stand out. You know, shadows and things can be added where the ear flaps over. Maybe like a shadow underneath this. Just darken this up a little bit. I mean, you can just do stuff like this for ages, so I won't, um, I won't bore you. But that'll do, that's how to draw a beagle. I hope it was helpful, Dylan. And a happy Christmas to you. And I hope they like the present, um, whoever you're giving this to. So, thanks for watching, happy Christmas. See you in the next one. Bye.